Any money we are get like this. Now enjoyment. <laughs> Any little change. Now enjoyment. Don't worry about my future. My future will not go anywhere. Any little money. Now enjoyment. We move. Hello, friends. Spend the evening with me. When the Bible says all things work together for the good, it says all things, not good things. People think it's just, oh, the happy things. No, 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 no. All means the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. No matter what happens in your life, if you're following God accordingly, then you can be guaranteed that everything, somehow, some way, will work together for the good. I'm 
how are we all affording life? Like right now. The other day, I was talking with my aunt, and she was like, "Oh, did you notice the price of items are now more expensive? Or even if they are not expensive, the value for what you're getting is so much lower." And I'm like, "Yeah." That's the reality, especially here in Canada. But we're not gonna complain, okay? I mean, there's nothing we can do. We're not going to complain. I'm just grateful, regardless of whatever is going on out there. Speaking of gratitude, I feel so much happier whenever I'm off social media. And I'm not going on the apps to check up on what's going on. Honestly, I just feel so much happier. You know what they say? ignorance is please once again i am just choosing to be very grateful for life and for everything honestly when you go online and you see so many things going on it's like you either feel like you're missing out or you feel like oh wow the world is going crazy this is the end times like the bible said like the christians would say i just want to remain peaceful and remain grateful because i'm not where i used to be and in as much as i would have loved to be in a better place by now i'm still very grateful for where i am right now because it is a better place anyway this is the book i'm currently reading it's called the carbon almanac and it's by seth goggin It's quite an interesting one. I just picked it up from the library. I've heard um, Seth talk about it in a couple of his podcast appearances and anything Seth I would read. I really love his work. I'm a huge fan. But yeah, I just wanted to come here, do something really simple and check up on you guys, see how you're doing, how you're coping, how you're surviving the recession. And to just encourage you to, you know, don't feel like you're alone in it. I mean, everybody's trying to figure it out. I feel like there's that wave of, if you notice, there's that wave of people that you thought had it all figured out, you know, they are in their own phase of trying to still figure it out. As in, if you actually pay attention and look around, it feels like everyone is just, you know, trying and failing and trying and trying to figure it out and succeeding at it. It's pretty much how it is and growth is what is the bottom line here and sometimes growth doesn't always happen as fast as we want it to sometimes it's slow and it's okay to be in that slow season you know we have to embrace every single part of growing and thriving as adults as my husband likes to say if i don't have a car three years ago and you were riding a car three years ago and I buy a car today. We are both going to be riding the car on the highway. Nobody gets the price for being the first person to buy a car. And that is literally how life is. Like, no, there's no prize, there's no award. Nobody's gonna get a prize for, oh, I achieved this first. It doesn't matter. Everybody's journey and race is different. And honestly, it might not be your time, but it doesn't mean it wouldn't be your time tomorrow. And there's nothing like I'm late to the party or I'm late to success. There's really nothing like that. So chill, let's be grateful for what we have. We can indulge in complaining sometimes. I love to do that as well, but I'm just choosing to stay grateful. Anyway, let me get on with my nighttime routine. So I'm gonna go do my skincare, get the clothes from the laundry and, and Netflix and chill with the husband. If you enjoy what you're seeing, give it a thumbs up. I've been seeing lonely people in crowded rooms Covering their old heartbreaks with new tattoos It's all about smoke screens and cigarettes Looking through low lights and silhouettes But all I see is lonely people in crowded The city's gonna break my heart The city's gonna love me, then leave me alone The city's gonna be chasing stars It's been a couple months since I fell out of home Am I getting closer to knowing where I belong? I've been seeing lonely people in crowded rooms Covering their old heartbreaks with new tattoos it's all about smoke screens and cigarettes Looking through low lights and silhouettes But all I 
Chasing stars It's been a couple months since I felt like a 